happy Friday, friends. Thanks for tuning in for Friday fun today for a crafty story time. Um, so Tuesday, the 22nd, was World Rainforest Day. So I thought we would read a book that kind of takes place like in a rainforest, maybe a jungle. Um, and then at the end, I will show you how to make this very cute paper plate parrot or toucan or whatever he is. He's a very cool little bird. Um, so if you haven't picked up your craft kit yet, um, we still have some, I believe, at the front desk. So stop in or call and we can bring one out to your car. Um, if you do have it, get it ready because then we'll be putting that together at the end of story time today. All right, so let's start with zoom, zoom, zoom. You ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Very good, let's do it one more time, you ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Very good job. All right, so I have a song for you called The Animals in the Jungle. So... The first jungle animal I thought of was a monkey. So what does a monkey say? Ooh, 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 ha, ha, ha. All right, let's sing about the monkey. The monkeys in the jungle go ooh, 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 ooh. The monkeys in the jungle go ooh, 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 all day long. How about tigers? Tigers can be in the jungle sometimes. What does a tiger say? Very good. You ready? The tigers in the jungle go roar, 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 roar. The tigers in the jungle go roar, roar, roar all day long. And of course, what about parrots? What does the parrot say? Squawk, squawk, squawk. You ready? The parrots in the jungle go squawk, 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 squawk. Squawk, 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 the parrots in the jungle go squawk, 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 all day long. How about a hippo? They kind of just go snap, snap, snap. Except they have like a really big mouth, so try to make your hand as big as possible. The hippos in the jungle go snap, 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 snap. The hippos in the jungle go snap, snap, snap all day long and kind of similar what else lives in the water that goes crunch 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 a gator or a croc maybe let's sing about that the crocs in the jungle go the crocs in the jungle go all day long and how about a snake they live in the trees, maybe, and they go slither, slither, slither. Ready? The snakes in the jungle go slither, 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 slither. It's hard to sing. The snakes in the jungle go slither, slither, slither all day long. Very good job, friends. That was great. All right, well, let's read our story for today. This is one of my favorites. This is... It's a tiger. So this is by David La Rochelle, illustrated by Jeremy Tankard, and I'm reading it with permission from Chronicle Books. So I might need your help with this one. You might have to do a little bit of movement with it. This is It's a Tiger. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. That looks like a tiger! Run! Everybody run! 
push aside these vines and they'll hide inside this cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. In fact, one of those shadows looks kind of like a tiger! How did he get here? Hurry, climb that ladder and we'll make our escape. Climb the ladder. Ah, sunshine, doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh, snakes, hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, shh, we can sneak past. Blue snakes, green snakes, even a great big fuzzy snake that looks just like a tiger, run! Oh, yikes, he's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for that rope, leap and swing across this canyon. Whee! Now let go. Whop. We made it. Good thing we landed someplace soft. A bed of flowers? A pile of leaves? A giant orange and black pillow? No, we landed on top of a tiger! Now we're really in trouble. Quick, climb this rock and slide down the hill, bumpity, 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 bump. <gasps> yes, a boat, hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before, have you? You don't think that could be <gasps> a tiger, not again? Cl jump overboard or we'll end up as lunch. Swim, swim, splash, splash, splash. I know you're tired, but don't slow down. <gasps> We're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid, I bet we'll find a tiger. And he wants to eat us. Roar. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. If we scratch his ears, and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. Better yet, let's tell him a story. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a crocodile! Oh no! Do you think it's gonna start all over again? That's crazy. I love that book. That's It's a Tiger. One of my favorites. All right, so speaking of monkeys, let's sing Five Little Monkeys. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left now? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left now? Just one, do you think he's gonna be good? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Those crazy monkeys, they don't listen, do they? No. All right, so that's what I have for story time. So I think now we should make our craft. So if you have a craft kit, go get it. And if you don't have a craft kit, that's okay. You can watch and then you can go pick one up at the library later if you want. All right, let me move my chair back. And I'm gonna adjust my camera a little so you can see. Okay, so I have my craft kit. So let's go over what you should have in your craft kit. You should have a paper plate. 
you should have one giant googly eye. You'll have a little bag with different colored tissue paper squares in it. You'll have one long piece of tissue paper. You'll have a feather. And other stuff you'll need, scissors, some kind of glue. I have this kind of glue, but you can use just regular Elmer's glue or a glue stick, that's fine. I also brought my tape and my stapler because I might do some of it with tape and staples just to make it go a little bit faster so we don't have to wait for everything to dry. All right, so let's start making our parrots. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper plate and you're gonna cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfectly in half. You can just kind of eyeball it. And as usual, if you need a grown-up to help you with your scissors to make sure you're being safe, that's totally fine. Okay, so one part of this is gonna be the body and one part's gonna be the head. So the way I did it on my um, sample, I had the plate sitting like the way it would sit on the ground so the indentation is on the front of both. That way you can kind of have your stuff glued to it better. So I'm gonna turn my body this way and put my head this way. You can glue it if you want to. I'm gonna staple mine just to speed it up a little bit so we don't have to wait for that to dry. You can probably also tape it if you wanted to, but staples worked pretty well for my sample. I think I put two on just to keep his head pretty sturdy. All right, so you're gonna have something kind of like that. Good. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do, we're gonna do the beak first. So because the beak is yellow, I'm gonna dump all of my squares out onto my cart so I can get to them more easily. Okay, so let me get to my yellow squares. And if you don't use all of your squares, that's okay. I just kind of uh, put about as many as I used for my sample in each of the kits. So you might have some left over. Um, you might not be able to space them all so tightly together if you want to cover it. Um, you can pretty much do it however you want. Okay, so here are my yellow squares. So we're, oops, so we're going to put those on one side of our head for the beak. So you're going to want to put glue on the front pointy end of your top uh, plate. So I think what I did before, I kind of just made a line of glue down the middle. Let me get some of this dry glue off the top. And then I just filled it in. And you could do this, I guess, if you want it to be less messy, you could do it with like double-sided tape, but I don't know how well it would stick. And you don't really need a ton of glue as long as you have enough that you can um, stick your tissue paper to it because the tissue paper is so light, it doesn't take too much glue. So as you can see, I made like a line down the middle and then filled it in. So now you're just gonna start sticking your uh, yellow tissue paper on that side it doesn't have to be in any kind of pattern you want it to look a little bit random because it'll make it look like it has a little bit more texture to it so you can see so far I've just been sticking it on however and if you can see your glue through it it'll probably um, be less visible once your glue dries because my sample looks um, a little bit different than this is looking right now and so you can go right up to the edge Got some little pieces that I can fill in the edges with. And again, it doesn't have to be like perf perfectly down the middle of your plate. Just enough so that you can tell that that's the beak. Okay. And if it's hanging off the side of the plate, that's fine too. So there we go. There's my beak. First part's done. So the second part you're going to do the same thing just with the red on the other side of his head. So once again, once my glue comes out, I'll just put some glue across, put it up the middle, put it around the outside, and then fill in a little bit in the middle, just so I have places to stick my tissue paper. And if you want to add any underneath your yellow, like this one wasn't really sticking to anything, so I'll just add a dot under that to keep it from falling off. 
Okay, so now I have glue on the other half of my head. I'm gonna stick some red on it. Again, there doesn't have to be any kind of technique to this. You just wanna cover it so it looks like he's got feathers. And if it's hanging off the end a little bit, that's okay. You don't want it to look too neat because otherwise it won't really look as, as cool as the uh, sample came out. So you want to put your tissue paper on just in like a random order and like the squares can be pointed in different directions. It can overlap with your beak a little bit. And as you can see, I have a few pieces of red left over that I'm probably not going to use because it's all filled in now. All right. All right. So now it's time to put our googly eye on. So all I did for that was I just put a piece or a dot of glue right in the middle of that red that I just put down. It doesn't have to be centered in any specific way. It's just wherever you want the eyeball to be. Should get a different glue. All right, so I put my glue dot right in the middle of the red, and now I'm going to stick my eyeball right into the middle of it. Ta da! All right, so you probably guessed what our next step is. You're going to do the body. So for this one, you don't have to split up the plate in any way. Cause we're just going to cover the whole thing in blues and greens. There doesn't have to be any order to it. I just like the way the blue and the green looked mixed in together. If you have tissue paper at home, that's maybe a different color that you want to add in there. You can do that too. All right. So I covered the body in glue and now I'm just going to start sticking blue and green on here. Don't have to do it in any particular order. Um, I think when I made the sample, I made sure I stuck one blue one on, and then a green one, and then a blue one, and then a green one. So they were kind of mixed together. It's however you want it to look. That's why I like this craft, because you don't have to make everything perfect on it. You can just kind of stick things wherever, and it ends up looking really cool. And if you overlap the head a little bit, that's okay. Get some more green. Put a green one there. Put a green one there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And I'm probably gonna have some blues and greens left over, and that's all right. Like I said, I tried to make sure I gave everybody enough of everything. So you might have a little bit of extra. All right. Look at that. His feathers look awesome. All right, so you might get some glue on your fingers at this point, because there's a lot of glue on this plate. That's all right. Okay, so next we're gonna make the tail. So you can see on my sample, the tail has like little feathers hanging off of it. So the way I did that, I just took my strip of yellow paper and I kind of folded it like an accordion, if you know what I mean. Like you fold it a little bit this way and then flip it over and fold it a little bit that way. So it kind of fans out like that. And then I just cut along those lines just a little bit, not all the way up. So you have like kind of three separate strips like that. And then I'm going to use a piece of tape to attach it just so I don't have to add more glue to my plate, but you can glue it if you want to. And I'm going to stick it right on the bottom. And I stuck it to the back so you can't see it, but there's his tail. That's pretty cool. All right, and then our last step is our feather. So you should have a feather in your kit, so you're gonna tape that, or take that. I'm gonna use tape again. Put a little tape on the bottom, and I'm just gonna stick it right to the back of his head, like that. Oh, and there you go. There 
where is your paper plate parrot? That's pretty easy, right? Look at his tail. All right, so as usual, post pictures of your completed crafts on this post because I would love to see what you've made. You guys have done such a great job with these. I'm always very impressed. Um, and like I said before, if you haven't had a chance to get a kit, stop in and we should have more floating around. If for some reason we don't, um, let somebody on staff know and they can tell me and I will make one for you and I'll let you know when it's ready. All right. Okay, friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me for whoa, uh, Crafty Storytime today. Um, I had a really good time talking about It's a Tiger, one of my favorite books, and making our parrot craft. And I hope you have a really good weekend. Um, something else that's coming up next week, you can start signing up for summer reading, which is very important because we didn't really get to do a super normal summer reading program last year and this year it's going to be pretty much like it normally is so uh the theme is tales and tales tales is in like books and tales is in like an animal tale the theme this year is animals which is very exciting another reason i chose this craft so um check out our website check out our facebook page stop in sign up for summer reading stop in and grid a craft kit if you hadn't done that yet and I hope you have a really good rest of your day. Thanks, friends. Bye-bye.